It doesn't matter whether you support it or oppose it. There are still a lot of unanswered questions about the proposed mosque at Ground Zero, the site of the terrorist attacks on September 11th, as you know. For starters, why is it called the Cordoba House? Joining us right now with the answer to that and more, the chairman of Renewing American Leadership, which is an organization dedicated to preserving America, America's Judeo-Christian Judeo heritage, Pastor Jim Garlow. Uh, Pastor, first off, define Cordoba. What's it, what's it referencing? It's a well-known city in Spain, the southern part of Spain, and to uh, those within the framework of Islam, it is the picture of supremacy or conquest. Uh, a, a quick history in, in just a couple sentences is just remember the year 600, 700, and 800 approximately. Right. Uh, 600, the beginning of Islam, and 600 is when a, a great church was built in that city of Cordova, Spain. Then you go 100 years later, Islamic armies come through and uh, convert by the use of the sword. And by 800, they take that church and it becomes a mosque. It was the great mosque of Cordova. And that is the imagery, the picture in the Islamic world of conquest. And it didn't, it didn't set well for Christians who were killed, Jews who were killed, tremendous numbers who were killed, men who were killed, and women who were hauled away to be concubines. So it is the imagery that we as Americans do not prefer to have right in our community, a mosque that's named for that kind of conquest. So that's what this would be all about. And just like in Islam in the past, Muhammad would build a mosque over Mecca. He would build a mosque over in, uh, in uh, what we now know as Jerusalem. And then, of course, what you just mentioned in Spain. And now, could it be ground zero? Now let's look at the man behind, who, who, behind this mission. His name is Imam Rauf. Uh, uh, Imam Rauf. We don't know much about him, but we do know that he said this after 9-11. The United States policies... We're, on an, we're an accessory to the crime that happened on September 11th. We also know that he has, uh, and he went on to say, we have been an accessory to a lot of innocent lives dying in the world. In fact, in the most direct sense, Osama bin Laden was made in the USA. And this guy also would not condemn Hamas or Hezbollah as terrorist organizations. That's the guy behind this uh, mosque. That and then $100 million coming from somewhere. And you were correct a moment ago. There's a constant predilection on the part of the Islamic faith to go into the sacred sites of everyone else, whether it be, as you've already indicated, in Mecca itself originally, or in Jerusalem, or even take a look at Nazareth, the boyhood home of Jesus, for example, the controversy there. And here, right on the site of 9-11, which has become a sacred site to us, and in addition to that, the attempt to try to dedicate this building on the 10th anniversary of 9-11. Americans are very fair-minded about the whole understanding of the nature of freedom of religion. There's 23,000 mosques in America. There's 200 in New York. It's not like they don't exist. But the attempt to do it there, it shows tremendous insensitivity to 9-11, right. surviving family members, and to all of us as Americans. And I 100% agree with you. Pastor Jim Garlow, I will have you back to talk about where they got the funding because we don't have that answer. We know it's very costly to the tune of $100 million. Jim Garlow, thanks.